Does pain hold you back from exercising? We get it. Pain is annoying and scary. All them little rascals. You ever hear a story about the little engine that could? But today, I'm here to help you find a way to make fitness a part of your life. Welcome back to the Coach's Corner, everyone. Pain is one of the biggest reasons people stop exercising or never start in the first place. Chronic pain has affected my life, and for almost all of 2016, I was in and out of varying levels of pain, which left me hunched over and having a hard time walking upright. During that time, I have to say, it was really hard to motivate myself to exercise, but the people I trusted ensured me that it had to be part of the solution. That's why I'm excited to bring you today's Coach's Corner. Pain doesn't mean you're handicapped from exercise unless you've been told so by a medical professional. In our opinion, pain is just telling the body that something isn't right and further evaluation is necessary. That's where the functional movement screen comes in. One of the most important reasons we screen is to discover if there are any painful patterns the member may have. On the flip side, if someone comes to us with pain, it lets us know if the mobility or stability screens provoke their pain. Sometimes people in pain believe they're broken, and I know I did. The coolest thing is sometimes the pain a person describes doesn't show up in the screen. This just gives us more information about the person and what they should and shouldn't do from an exercise standpoint. It gives them a little spark of confidence that maybe they aren't as damaged as they thought they were. Either way, if a person has pain, or if you're watching this at home and you're currently in pain, we always recommend getting further assessment from a medical professional you trust. Once the screen is complete, we proceed with our job, which is to create a fitness experience tailored to that person's ability at that moment. We want to have the most intense, satisfying workout we can provide for you while still being safe. To do this efficiently and effectively, we recommend finding a coach certified in the functional movement screen to perform a full movement analysis. If you can't get to one, here are some simple self-assessments. Can you touch your toes? Can you raise your arms straight overhead? If you have no pain on either of these movements, consider exercises like the goblet squat, inverted rows, kettlebell or sandbag deadlifts, planking variations, farmer's carry, and chest passes. Now, if those screens invoke pain, here's how you change your program. If the toe touch is painful or you can't do it, perform more ground-based exercises like bridges and crawling to replace the deadlift. If you can't put your arms overhead, avoid overhead exercise and focus on horizontal upper body exercises like planks and inverted rows. If those don't work, do extra carries. The number one rule is don't do anything that hurts. A lot of people push through pain thinking that if they admit it, they're admitting that they're weak. No! <laughs> You're admitting that something hurts and you're being a responsible human being. There is nothing worse than feeling like something is off, not stopping, and then having to take time off or sideline your goals because you decided to be tough. Don't do that. If something hurts, avoid that movement or pattern and ask your coach for a substitution. Afterwards, consult a medical professional to be further evaluated. At Results Driven, we work together with medical professionals to help build a safe, effective workout program. Keep in mind it's rare that anyone goes into any gym without some movement restriction or something they need to work on. Don't let your current fitness levels dictate or limit what you can accomplish in the future. Find a coach that can help you make the best fitness choices for your body and hopefully they can build you a safe, effective workout program. Thanks for watching another installment of The Coach's Corner. Next week, since we've now showed you how to build an exercise plan, we're gonna dive deep into making a meal plan. In the meantime, if you found this information helpful, please make sure to like, share, and comment, and subscribe wherever you find Results Driven. See you soon.